Hello folks, all right, you are finally entering the final stretch of your research paper. Um, you should only be watching this video if you have finished your devising and using research questions document and your summary of a research paper document, and I have reviewed it with you. Alrighty, this video is only going to be for the first introductory paragraph. I'm going to make three separate videos, okay? So this is just for the introductory paragraph, so here we go. Okay, so for your introductory paragraphs, um, you are starting off with a hook. If you notice this triangle here, this is uh, kind of the structure of a body paragraph. You got a hook, or introductory paragraph. You got a hook, you're in your paragraph, it's like a thumbnail sketch, central idea. Thumbnail sketch is like just a quick recap. To remind you of a hook, we've already written papers with hooks earlier in the year. Uh, provide a specific story, anecdote from the historical event. Begin with a relevant quote from an eyewitness or an interview from that event. Or describe a scene in vivid detail or a gripping image with words, not a picture image, of your historical event. Alrighty. <clears throat> um, your historical event summary should mention who was involved in your topic what happened, where it took place, um, as specific as possible, um, how the story ends um, for your topic, and uh, what context is necessary, right? So um, if someone doesn't know anything about the event, what are the most important details that maybe you would tell them to help them understand more about the event? That's what context is, right? Um, and then you're, you will include your essential idea, which I have broken down for you down below, all of these. So, the first thing that you are to do is to create a hook that captures your reader's attention. Um, again, if you're not sure what a hook is, look at these three bullet points right here. Or you can look at my example down below. Okay? Um, I have an example for all of these paragraphs. Um that you will write. Then you will tell me what your historical event is. So you'll tell me what is your topic. You'll tell me briefly, um, which means in a sentence or two, why is it so important and why you chose it. What, um, what brought you to it. I don't want you to just say it's interesting. I want you to tell me what was interesting about it. Be specific. And then uh, what context is needed. So maybe tell me where it generally, where it happened and when it happened who was involved, and how it how it unfolded briefly, and then what happened. Um, then you'll tell me, is there anything that happened before your key moment that's worth mentioning? So you actually wrote about this in your devising and using research questions number six. You should have told me a little bit about what happened before your key moment. You can go back and look at your devising questions number six, and you can copy and paste it here. Um, or if you just kind of wrote in bullet points and there's more you can say, that's where you add it here. But all of these should be written as if you're writing your essay. This is a rough draft, but these are full sentences. No longer you're writing bullet points. And then here, you'll just give me what are your three main events, your key moments of this topic. Okay. And then you are done with your intro. Um, again, I have an example hook down here. An example of a um, <clears throat> of the description of the historical event, the context, what happened before, and then my three key moments. My example is, of course, the Underground Railroad. I tried to change my example for each topic. Okay, that's all I got. Um, if you're unsure at all, maybe go reread the instructions up here. And good luck to you on the introductory paragraph.